Okay, so the thing is that I want to read books online, but for that I would need a Kindle, and I don't have a Kindle, so I'm gonna make my own website to read books online. Okay, so I'm gonna use HTML and CSS for the website, and I already know that, so I first started with a blank page. Nice. And then I added a sidebar for functionality, but I couldn't get it to touch the edge. And I spent an embarrassingly long time trying to fix it, and it now finally touches the edge, which is nice. And then I made the top bar like all websites have. I added the title of the website, of course, and the logo on the sidebar, which pretty much acts as a home button. And then the search bar, which actually does nothing because I don't know any JavaScript and don't know how to add that yet, but I'll learn that later. So pretty much what I want this website to be is that you can read books online without any hassle. And I also try to have a minimalist aesthetic, so I tried. And it shows the book cover, the title, and the author of the book. And when you click the book, it goes to another web page. This is where you can actually read the book. It took me a very long time just to get all the text in here, but it was worth it. And the first book will be Oliver Twist, because that's the only one I've actually read. And then I added another book, The Great Gatsby. Never read it, but I've heard it's great, so I added it. And then the last two books, The Scarlet Letter and The Picture of Dorian Gray. So yeah, I'll add more books in the future, and to host the website, I used a 000 web host because that was the best free hosting option. So yeah, you can visit my website and read some books. Type bookliner.000 webhostapp.com. It's a bit, it's a bit of a mouthful to say. So yeah, bye.